Greetings everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Teddy Set Go. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe to see future motorcycle content. And today's video is all about the top 7 bikes that you should go and see uh, during this year's motorcycle show season. Uh, we've just had the EI CMA show in Italy where a whole load of motorcycle reveals have taken place from all the big manufacturers. Uh, and shortly here we have the motorcycle live show starting at the NEC for a whole week. Um, so this is definitely, even though the, the nights are getting longer and colder, uh, there's still a whole load of motorcycle excitement to uh, get involved with at the, uh, the shows where you are. And with all of that excitement, I've decided to make a video on the top seven bikes that you should go and see this bike show season in 2019. So these are my top picks for you to go and check out and uh, have a touch and a feel and a sit on and uh, hopefully share in the excitement. So without any further ado, let's begin. Kicking things off in number seven is the brand new Honda Fireblade for 2020. A brand new Fireblade that has been churning in the rumor mill for most of the year now, with track sightings and leaked patent schematics floating around the web. But at the recent EICMA show in Italy, Honda finally threw a Hail Mary play into the Super Sport category with this absolutely stunning 2020 Fireblade. With HRC fingerprints all over this machine, the new blade is promising to pull up alongside every other bike in its class and fight its way to pole position. Even Marc Marquez seemed massively impressed with the launch and had a whole heap of fun riding this bike around the circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia. At its heart, the ultra-compact Euro 5 compliant inline 4 engine boasts the same bore and stroke as the RC213V. With technologies such as semi-cam gear train, finger follower rocker arms, titanium con rods, internal friction reduction technologies and piston jets with a check ball system, it's fair to say that Honda are doing everything possible to raise the bar on this one. What this means in plain English is that when this baby hits 14,500 revs, 214 angry Honda horses are unleashed, propelling this new blade into the next dimension. I've always been a big fan of the Fireblade ever since the mid-90s and the Urban Tiger, and even though the Fireblade has always been synonymous with the cutting edge of motorcycling technology, I felt in recent times that that crown has been lost to the likes of the Ducati Panigale V4S and the BMW S1000RR. This new blade, however, looks set to kick some serious butt on the roads and on the track. So is 2020 the year that Fireblade takes back the crown as the best super sports bike? In at number 6 is the Ducati Street Fighter V4. Recently unveiled in Italy, the Street Fighter V4 and V4S brings Ducati Panigale performance and premium technology to a stripped back, aggressive looking naked roadster. At its heart lays a 1103cc Desmodici Stradle engine that punches only a few brake horsepower below the Panigale V4 at an eye-watering 208 brake horsepower. Coupling that monster power with 123 newton meters of torque at tighter gear ratios and you have a Ducati that drives focus towards acceleration rather than top speed. Stacked with a long list of rider aid electronics and fronted by dual level MotoGP inspired winglet aerodynamics, the new Street Fighter promises to offer a blend of track busting performance and everyday upright riding practicality. Costing in at around £17,000 to £19,000, the Street Fighter V4 certainly leans towards the more premium luxury roadster rider, but this is a bike designed to deliver Panigale pedigree in a manner that is upright, aggressive and at the cutting edge of motorcycling technology. In at number 5 is the Kawasaki ZH2, the new supercharged green machine for 2020 from Kawasaki, the ZH2. Laying at the heart of this new naked is a supercharged 998cc 4-cylinder, punching out 197 brake horsepower with a tremendous 137 newton meters of torque at the wrist. Reined in with electronics including traction control, riding modes, wheelie control, launch control, cruise control, corner management systems, a slipper clutch, a quick shifter and Bluetooth, all as standard, the ZH2 certainly packs an alternative punch. Especially considering the new Quack price is in at just under £16,000 which is just a few thousand less than the new Ducati Street Fighter V4 we've just mentioned. Given the buzz the H2R gathered at the shows back in 2015, I'm certain the ZH2 will attract an equal amount of admiration. 
In at number four, the Yamaha MT125. Uh, featured recently on the channel, Yamaha unveiled the 2020 version of their A1 friendly naked bike, the MT125, with noticeable updates and styling cues to mirror its bigger sibling, the MT03. Equipped with a variable valve actuation engine that has received heaps of praise in the R125, the new MT promises to deliver maximum torque throughout the rev range, making this a very exciting bike for any learner to ride. In addition, the MT gets a wider 140 rear tyre, a new LCD display borrowed from the R125, updated geometry resulting in a shorter wheelbase, and a new signature LED front headlight. All in all, this bike is a strong all-rounder with impressive performance for a 125. With all the updates and nice finishing touches, the MT offers any learner a quality bike that doesn't pretend to look like it's something bigger. It's slim, lightweight, agile and aggressive, offering young riders a commanding upright riding position compared to the hunched over and possibly distracting experience you would get on an R125. If you are thinking about starting your journey into the world of motorcycling, this is a great contender for your first bike. In at number 3, the KTM 890 Duke R. KTM has just levelled up its class busting middleweight naked, the 790 Duke, with the all new 890 Duke R. Now this is not a replacement for, but actually an addition to the range. The standalone 890 Duke R is essentially a 790 cranked up to 11. Over the past few months, we've heard the rumours that a new 890 Duke is in the works, and we've all seen the spy shots of ex-MotoGP and KTM development rider Jeremy McWilliams tearing this thing around the track. But now, after a recent reveal, all the cards are on the table. Priced in at £10,399, almost identical to the price of the new Triumph Street Triple RS, the KTM 890 Duke R promises to give any naked buyer a huge dilemma when it comes to choosing. Complete with 100 extra cc's and exciting 119 brake horsepower, premium KTM accessories, Brembo's, semi-slick tyres and raised foot pegs, the new 890 Duke R is taking a huge shot at the Triumph Street Triple RS, promising to be an even sharper scalpel on the track and even more fun on the roads. In at number 2, the Triumph Street Triple RS for 2020. If you haven't checked out my recent review of the current generation Street Triple RS, then do have a look. This bike oozed refinement in build quality, handling and power delivery. For the money, the Street Triple offers an incredible amount of value and a smooth premium riding experience that makes you realise just how much work has gone into the development of this bike. The new Triumph Street Triple RS for 2020 comes stacked with real tangible upgrades including more torque in the mid-range, a new dash, updated bodywork, an up and down quick shifter, Euro 5 compliance, a new end can and of course those signature LED daytime running lights. One thing is for sure, I will be making a beeline for this bike at Motorcycle Live. And in at number one, a bike that is close to home for me and which featured recently on my channel, the new Yamaha Tracer 700 for 2020. Freshly updated for 2020, Yamaha's middleweight twin all-rounder features a brand new rugged and aggressive looking front end topped by sleek LED daytime running lights which brings this bike right up to date with the rest of the Yamaha range. Refinements in the gearing and the fueling also offer more usable torque and power to this massively user-friendly sports tourer. I've had the pleasure of riding the first generation Tracer for the last three years and it has never let me down. Whether it's commuting, touring, going out for a blast or hitting the odd track day, if you are in the market for a naked, do-everything motorcycle that's cost-effective, then the Tracer 700 should make your shortlist to go and see at the bike shows. So there you have it, my top 7 bikes that you should go and see at the bike shows this year. And what a season it has been so far, with so many awesome new bikes promising to hit the showrooms in the coming months. Of course I couldn't fit them all into this video, but special mentions also have to go out to the new Kawasaki Z900, the next generation of Honda Africa Twin, the updated Yamaha R1, and the brand new BMW F900XR. I'm hoping to do a video of my visit to Motorcycle Live in the next few days, so please stay tuned, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to support the channel. I hope you enjoy this year's motorcycle show season wherever you are. This has been Eddie Set Go. Ride safe, drive safe. I'll see you next time.
Thank you.